I'm Linda Stefano, and this is my studio at Eye of the Dog Art Center here in San Marcos, Texas. Come on in. Uh, I recently repainted and reorganized with some help from my mom. Hung up this little shelf here all by myself. I'm pretty proud of it. Our tools don't fall over while we're working anymore. Um, I share this space with my father, whose name just happens to be Clay. He also works in ceramics, and my mom often comes along as well, and we work in the studio, and it's really sweet and wholesome. Uh, I'm going to demo a little bit of some new stuff I've been working on lately. This is a cup, a tumbler that I did some Mishima on last night. I carved through, and then with a little pipette, I dropped in some underglazes that I watered down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to show you how I scrape now. All right. These cups are kind of by my friend Gary Henderson, also known as Rocket Skull Pottery. Uh, they're kind of big and chunky, and they're bright and colorful like him. I'm using uh, Buffalo Wallow clay from Armadillo, which was one of his favorites. And the little pipette that I'm using was one of his from his studio that I was fortunate to inherit. And so these cups have just been really fun. I uh, spent time this spring and summer just experimenting with different um, patterns and colors and seeing, seeing what kind of results I could get, what I'd like. Spent a lot of time gardening and therefore making a lot of planters as uh, my test patterns and so I just kind of keep scraping some of them you know are a little less apparent than others but I will just go ahead and scrape the whole thing we'll just go ahead and scrape the whole thing and then after that I'll uh, give it some sanding with a green scrubby and biscuit and then more sanding and more sanding and then some liner glaze and it's ready to go and uh, I really enjoy this process there's something satisfying about all the scraping and I think that's one of the reasons I've really enjoyed doing it this year is uh, it just feels good. Alright, that's enough for now. Some other new work I've been working on lately. These are some more cups that are going to get some Mishima and then some glaze in different colors will get put in those little squares be kind of mosaic and fun, very colorful. This is also the Buffalo Wallow Clay. And then down here I've got some of my face cups. Been working on these for a few weeks. Um, I added ears this year because I kept getting requests for, for um, handles. And I didn't think handles looked right on these. So the ears function. Some are a little more comfortable than others, but they'll give you a little relief from your hot beverage of choice so that you don't burn your little hands. This one you just fit your fingies right in there. And uh, I'll be underglazing these soon. And they'll kind of have these sort of effects on them. This is one of my favorite color palettes for the cups is the green faces. I think it works really well. It's fun. It's weird. I kind of stopped doing pupils on my work last year halfway through. I decided I liked them better without pupils, but some of them still get the pupils. This guy is Lil Kev, is what I like to call him. He doesn't really have a title, but he's just a little dude. Um, had fun making him. I got really, really nice little details up close. He's a little dusty at the moment, but he's a, he's a, a cool one. And then this is a piece from last year as well. Her name is Karen. Karen is from a graphic novel called My Favorite Thing is Monsters by Emile Ferris. And she is a little 10 year old um, werewolf girl artist and amateur detective. It's a really beautiful graphic novel and I would recommend it. I like to sometimes work based off of books that I really enjoy. This piece here is another book inspired. This is um, a monument to love, I think. That's the quote. I can't recall the exact one. Also a dusty piece. <laughs> um, but this is inspired by a Tom Robbins novel called Skinny Legs and All. It's about art and love and letting go of 
societal illusions. Also recommend it. <laughs> uh, recommend it. <laughs> And then uh, over here, I've got a couple of my other older pieces. Got some little wall heads I've been making over the last few years with some towels that you can write on with dry erase markers and add whatever you want, some little notes, whatnot. Um, this is a, a favorite piece that's still hanging with me. She's pretty dusty as well. This is Genevieve. She is inspired by a film called Liz of Cherbourg, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's a really melodramatic French opera that I would recommend. Uh, part of the French New Wave movement. It's, re it's really colorful and bright and poppy and beautiful and sad. And uh, so I made this piece. And then this here is the Divinosaur. My earlier sculptures from, I think, 2014. And so she's half divine and half dinosaur. Um, and that's mostly all there is mostly all there is to that. <laughs> uh, this portrait over here was made in 2014. Um, this is how I, how I stay cool in the summer times. A lot of the times uh, my house is great, but not always climate controlled and spent a lot of time cooling off eating popsicles in my underwear. Though this summer was a little more of an ice cream kind of year. Um, and this is a really early piece from high school. I made this little box, um, hinged together with some leather cording. Miraculously, this really thin top hasn't broken yet, but I think that's because um, my dad took care of it for a, at least a decade and kept it safe for me. Uh, and, oh, this is kind of the motif I'll be working with on some of those wine cuts earlier, playing with some different color palettes. Copy. Um, this one's inspired by a curtain I have in my living room. It's actually a vintage suite. And this pattern's just really weird and fun, and I'm going with it. Um, and one more thing I want to do. This was my first ever sculpture. I made this when I was six years old in first grade. Mrs. Richardson was my teacher then as well. And it's just a weird little jack-o'-lantern pinch pot there. Um, kind of started it all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Y'all check out Clayfest.